Have you ever seen a chunk of coal? I had not. I had never seen a chunk of coal. I've never actually held one. I mean, I've seen it on TV, right? They shovel it into the train on uh, old westerns. But I'd never actually held a piece of coal. So let me tell you about my experience with this. Stay tuned. All right, a video about coal. Who would have thought? So I found this in the basement of uh, about a 150 year old house. Actually, let me show you some pictures of this place and the basement uh, first. Let's switch to that. Here is a view of the house. It was built in 1816. The original structure is all the way over to the right there. And then ever since 1816, they've just been adding on to it. The best part about this place is it's where my brother lives. And this picture was actually taken quite a few years ago when I was up there visiting. I decided to do a winter vacation. We went snowmobiling, we went ice fishing. In fact, here's a couple of the videos, ice fishing with turkeys. Be sure to check that out. That was quite the experience. Uh, but anyway, let's get down into the basement. I'll show you some pictures of that. It's just incredible. Here's the basement and this part of the basement is where the actual furnaces were, the coal burning furnaces. And um, the basement is only under that center portion of the structure. Um, here's another view looking back into, you know, the, the walls are granite, the floor is dirt. It's just incredible. Uh, this plastic area is where the actual coal chute was that dumped coal down into the basement. And this is where I found these various chunks of coal. So somewhere in the 40s, they removed the coal furnaces and replaced them with um, gas furnaces. But um, right here on this little ledge is where I found some of the coal. And there's other pieces that are kicked around here and there um, up in the corners of this basement just, you know, from 100 years ago when they uh, used to dump coal down there. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so that brings us to the actual chunk of coal. I'll give you a close-up in a second. It's unbelievably lightweight compared to what you would think it would weigh. I mean, it's not like titanium lightweight, but it's not as heavy as a chunk of, say, granite or just regular rock that would be the same size. It's, you can see, and I'll show you in the close-up, the shiny part is where it's clearly been sheared off, and then the hazy part looks like where the vein of coal was. I guess it uh, comes out of the earth in, you know, veins. This is uh, actually organic. Uh, it's, you know, carbon primarily, and that's made from peat. So I had to do a little research and evidently over millions of years, uh, plants decay and form, I guess what would be a, a layer of muck maybe. That's what I'm imagining. And then over uh, millions of years and lots of pressure, the muck compresses and turns it into coal. And that muck is called peat, evidently. And the reason why I mention all that is because it's organic. So if you go through airport security, like I did twice because I forgot that I left it in my backpack, they have no idea what this thing is. Uh, they also don't even know what it is when you take it out of your backpack. So you can imagine I'm late for my flight and I forget that I have this in here uh, from up in New Hampshire. And um, well, first story is I'm coming back from New Hampshire and it's in my backpack and they start ripping my backpack apart. I kind of forget that it's in there. And they said, do you have a chunk of something like a rock in here? And I said, yes, actually it's a piece of coal. And so they want to take it out and examine it and wipe it and make sure it's not, you know, has a gunpowder residue on it. So that was a process. But for that flight, we were really early. So I didn't even think of it. So anyway, this thing lives in my bag for another week, I guess. I, I guess it's been another week. And I take a work trip and I forget that it's in my bag. I'm late for the airport and they stop me in security and... Uh, want to rip my bag apart again. And I immediately remember what happened and uh, tell them, yes, it's a hunk of coal. Uh, but the real interesting part is coming back from my work trip. 
last week. So I had the foresight because now I know it's in my bag. It's been three passes now. Uh, I take it out, it's in a plastic bag, and I place it in the bin along with the uh, laptop and luggage, whatever. And they uh, pick it up and look at it, and they're trying to figure out what it is. And there's nobody else in line, so I can talk to the guy that's sitting in front of the screen, and he says, what is this? And I said, it's coal. And he goes, why do you have it? And I said, well, it's really old. I've never actually seen coal, and I forgot that it was in my backpack from a previous trip. And he said, well, I've never actually seen coal either. And the really weird thing is that it comes up on our scanner as organic, which would be obvious because it's formed from peat, right? So he said, you know, I, you never see something like this show up as an organic. He goes, you know, this could be like a chunk of bread or a chunk of, uh, or, you know, something organic. And he uh, thought it was really interesting also. So anyway, if you want to mess with your friends, find a piece of coal, put it in their backpack, and try to get them to explain it to TSA. That will be amusing for you as long as you're not running late for your flight because it does take a little bit of time. Anyway, that is the story on this uh, chunk of coal. Let me give you a close-up view of it. Uh, so let me switch the camera around. So I put the paper towel back there just for some contrast against the black table, but look how cool this is. It's all rough in the areas that appear natural, you know, like formed in the ground. That's my assumption. And then where it broke, it's super shiny. And the fact that this burns, I mean, it's a rock. There's nothing not rock-like about it other than the oddly lightweight that it is, but it's not like a piece of charcoal. It's nothing like a piece of charcoal. It is actual rock. Now, I'm not going to burn this because obviously I want to hold on to this. I think it's pretty neat. And I did wash it. So I washed it under hot water. I didn't use any soap. I just um, scrubbed it with a kitchen scrubber thing, brush. So it was all covered in dirt. But look, it doesn't come off on your hands. You may think that it's dirty. It is not dirty at all. It, nothing comes off of it. Anyway, I don't know how long you can, I can actually do this for quite a while. But I'm sure I'm losing some of you. So that is a close-up view of coal and my story of finding it and transporting it. <laughs> I guess there is some uh, dust coming off of it from this part, but when you scrape it, it doesn't come off easily. It doesn't even get under your fingernail. So if you've never seen a piece of coal, this is what it looks like. And thanks for watching my experience and listening to my experience of uh, finding it and bringing it home. I'm going to put this on my, uh, on my little display table with, that has pictures and stuff, and it'll be a good memory. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.